Okay, so we'll do some an easy one this time, which is screening the goalie, which is something a lot of the guys on our team like to do or think they're doing right. Um, a lot of people end up, and you'll see um, a great example of it, where we don't really screen the goalie, we just kind of sit in front of them and wave at the puck. So um, here's a couple pictures I found of NHL guys screening the goalie, obviously much better than we do. So um, right here, I mean, it's the wrong, wrong team, but you can still see obviously that their goalie has to look around the player. So he's right on top of, of the goalie and he's not interfering with him. He's not to the side. This goalie has to work to look and see where the puck's coming in. Same thing. Goalie's got to work. Now it probably helps that this guy's about six inches taller than the guy screening him, which is kind of like if Andrew or Sean screened anybody. But still, I mean, while he's trying to peek around for that puck, if he doesn't catch it or he doesn't know where it's coming because he doesn't have a full field of view, I mean, look, he's got this wide open area here. There's just lots of places a puck can sneak through. So the other thing you'll note or you'll see is if you're to the side and say you're not in front like this and you're over here, well, now you're blocking this side. You're giving him a great view of the shot. So you're taking away more than that and making it easier for the goalie to make a save. And you'll see that we do that a lot where, you know, and our players, most players, I guess, would shoot at the empty part of the net. So if you're taking away more empty net to shoot at, there's more of a chance that he's going to shoot it somewhere that A isn't going to go in or B missed the net entirely. Um, so this is a great example here because it's just a really nice picture. Never mind uh, who it is. There we go. That should make it a little nicer. Maybe a little bit of that. So just we'll look at this and this is like the perfect example of, you know, this goalie has to look around the player. And obviously this isn't I just like we always have it because when we're in front of the net, apparently that's free game, you know, an open ticket to beat up the player in front of the net. So there'd usually be a couple defensemen cross checking you, but the visual here is kind of what you want to know. It's like you're backing into the goalie. So he's right here on top of the crease. He's got to stick out, and that's a great thing too. He's got to stick out here, and that's kind of a target. If you want to tip, give the shooter something to aim for. Um, and I've noticed a lot of times when I try to screen the goalie and I try to get a tip, if I put the stick out somewhere and I say, here, shoot it here, a lot of the times you'll get – the, the shooter will pick up on that and start aiming and so it's a little easier the less you have to move your stick to get the puck the lot easier it is to start to get some contact on it so we'll go a little forward and then of course um you could always you could always do this especially if we ever play brandon so we'll just put brown here so if we ever play brandon we can try this but i think it's illegal so we'll go to a clip um this is one of the times where I'll play it in full and then we'll go slow motion. I'll show just what I'm talking about and how it is hard to see when you're first person, you know, when you're playing and you don't, you can't look behind you all the time. So it's really a matter of just getting the feel for it and a lot of practice. And this first clip is really great because it shows what we can do if we start screening the goalie as well as combining with um, shooting from the better angles when we shoot from the point. So we'll play this clip. So that kind of, he had the same situation. Eric's got the puck down, or Sean's got the puck up here. Eric's down here. So he makes the smart move. He comes to the front of the net and he's going to screen the goalie, right? Because right now, Right now, any shot isn't really going to get past this goalie from that deep. So what do we want to do? We want to make it harder for him. So how do you do that? You get in front of the goalie. So we're going to go. So now, look, right now we've got Sean. He's moving towards the center. We've got uh, Eric. He's coming in to screen the goalie. So now everything's kind of looking good. You know, we've. So we'll show where kind of where we're doing things a little wrong. Okay, so now we've moved past the goalie. So let's go back 
So here's where this would be perfect. If Eric stays right here, he is screening that goalie perfectly. Right? And then Sean's got a shot here, and he can aim at Eric's stick right there. Or he's got this side of the net, which hopefully he hits because we got no one over there. But right now, that goalie can't see anything. Okay, now Eric has moved out of the way. So remember I said that this area was an open target. And this guy, all he could see was Eric's numbers. Well, now Eric is taking this area out of the picture. And this goalie can see this shot coming in all the way, right? Okay, now look. This is what we always do. We all, and it's not just Eric, it's just the best example because we got a great shot from the top of the of the zone right here. Look, everyone parted, and obviously these guys would want to um, to give their goalie the best shot. But Eric had nobody on him. We had nobody on our guys. If we were sitting here, now watch where this shot goes. Right? It doesn't matter where that shot was aimed. It was going to get it saved. So... Unless Eric tips it. So he's waving at it right here. That's fine. If you tip it and it moves and it gets in the net, great. But your chances of that are a lot harder because, A, you didn't give our, our guy anything to shoot at. He's not going to want to hit you unless it's shooting at me. And just, you know, he had to go quick. He's got two guys bearing down on him, so he's got to shoot quick. He doesn't have time to line up a corner. So if we had stayed in front and where this shot kind of goes, remember we were... So right here is where anything left of that, he's not going to be able to see if we have it played correctly. Right? Right here, he can't see that zone. Well, now where's that? Where does this puck go? Okay. It's labeled for that spot. Remember, this goalie's left shoulder was on right of this yellow line. And now it's squared up. That goal go that puck goes in if he can't see that puck. And he, he's trying to move. Especially because it looks like he's trying to lean to the right. See, look, that shoulder right here, it's not even close to um, being in the right position. He's standing up high. Sean's getting ready to shoot. Now we've moved away. He can spread out. He can get in position. Now he's in perfect position to make this save. And he does. And he swallows it up so there's no rebound. And that's two of the things is if we don't get a tip and we don't get a rebound, we don't get a chance. And that's made a lot easier when he can see that puck the whole way, especially from 50, 80 feet away, whatever distance that is. Um, so now we'll look at an example, and I'll play it all the way through. This is when Scott Scott screens the goalie pretty well here. So Scott's got a great – he's going to have a great screen and get a goal out of this. Um, and this is – uh, a great example of what we want to do. So we'll watch it all the way through and watch the goal. Okay. So right here, Andrew's in shooting. He's about to shoot. Right? So he's got, look at this. Now Scott is right here parking in front of the goalie. So he's got to look for it. So he's already not as in position as uh, the other guy was when he had to make a save. He has to look around, so he's already kind of out of position. Now he's got to find the puck. Okay? So as that puck's coming, not only is he getting screened by his own player, but now Scott does a... You'll see a, uh, NHL guys do that a lot. Where As the shot's coming in, they'll release. So the goalie has a split second to find that puck. You know, instead of watching it come in the whole way, and he's got about, I don't know, 10 feet to find the puck and make a play. So now watch, he makes the save, great, it went right into him, but because he didn't really react to it in time, it's just sitting there. And look, that's an easy put away. And the best part about that is he didn't, you know, he didn't have a chance at, um, he didn't really have a chance to corral that or whatever. And we've got two guys low. If that puck squirts out to the left a little, we've got Eric wide open down here. And we've got Scott right here. And if he manages to cover it, great. But we made a great play on a good shot by Andrew, a hard shot. We get out of the way of it, but we also got in the way of the goalie's vision. And that's the main thing. So, you know, it's it's going to take some time to get used to getting in front of the net. And it, you might get hit, but that's what all the padding's for. And it doesn't hurt as much as you might think. This 
strategy will certainly lead to a lot more goals than just sitting out front and waving at it. Um, so it's just something to think about. There's not really any strategy to it. It's just being in the right place. Um, it's just a lot more stuff can happen when the goalie has less time to react.